fans, uh, for the fans, uh, not many in this can understand, uh, this the podcast to show you who I am, uh, Conrad Cushman, the legend in the plans, uh, please listen every day to the showcase, the opinions and knowledge that anyone can tell you, showing you how it is done, proving I am number one, what a legend becomes, this is now my time to show you that I am here, uh, this podcast just to make it loud and clear, uh, by the fans, uh, for the fans, uh, not many who's here can understand uh, everything pro wrestling, it can never be you, listen to the podcast here for the people, the best show that's here, so listen in, let the knowledge begin, the opinion and the lesson, yes. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling, Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans, for the fans. I'm your host, Conrad Cushman, being joined tonight by my esteemed colleague, the one, the only, the man in the Blue Jays, the man they call Derek. Yo, yo. We just finished WrestleMania night two. Two. It's in the books. I'm interested to hear what the people think. Need everybody to come on in here, show us some love. Um, everyone is much appreciated. We're going to get into a lot of topics, uh, with tonight, talk about all the matches that just happened and went down and we're going to get into all of this. Um, I am also going to play the intro for my man, Ant, A-N-T, Ant Won't Stop. He gave me a song for WrestleMania 39. It is a beaut. Uh, he's a good friend of the podcast for many, many, many years. So I wanted to show him some love. He's been on the podcast before. Shout out to Ant Won't Stop. Uh, make sure you guys check him out if you're digging his sound. He's always got some pretty good music up on Spotify and in many other places. Check him out. But here's Ant with the WrestleMania 39 theme for EPW. Let's go. It's a lot harder than some think, yeah. but there can only be one king, one road to one ring, and that could only mean one thing. Couldn't be a more worthy time. WrestleMania 39. Yeah. Think it's time for a redesign from undefined to redefined. Ooh. Cody Rhodes gets the story told versus Roman Reigns on the grand stage. Fireworks gonna overload because you can't contain his outlandish ways. Crowd is slow because it's uncontrolled, can't be explained. No time for games. Tickets sold, not being bold, just stating facts, not naming names. There's more than one royal wrestling fan. Uh -huh. I'll say it twice so maybe you'll understand me yeah. When I'm done I'll leave a legacy like Randy I'll give you nightmares so stay away from the brandy what? 39 times let's make it 40 I'm here for the gold along with all the glory Trying to make everyone proud who came before me It's Wrestlemania let's finish the story 39 times let's make it 40 I'm here for the gold along with all the glory Trying to make everyone proud who came before me It's Wrestlemania, let's finish the story Top of the hour, Edge vs. Valor, Hell in a Cell, the final encounter Everybody wants the top spot There it is folks, welcome to night two of Wrestlemania review uh, these WrestleManias get crazier and crazier, bro. I feel like one day we're going to be doing three-night reviews or something when it comes to this. Right, right, right. <laughs> You're on SmackDown. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for being in here. I want to send a big shout-out to everyone who has supported EPW from Mania to Mania um, for all the pay-per-views. I know we got AEW coverage, Clash of the Podcast, hooks you up with the WWE coverage a lot of the times. And, uh, yeah, I'm just grateful, man. Thank you guys so much. If you've been with me when I was doing independent reviews, when I was on Brain Buster Radio, when I was doing anything like that, man, thank you so much. Shout out to the people at Wrestling Aminu. They always feature me, uh, put up my videos and things like that. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, all the love is appreciated. So if you're a supporter, thank you. Got to give a shout out to those in the chat. As you know, we always say by the fans, for the fans. So we're going to keep this joint interactive. Uh, Terrell, first one in the house. Terrell says, worst WrestleMania ever. I'm not exaggerating. I've seen great WrestleManias, good, bad. WrestleMania, this will go down as the worst one ever. WrestleMania gets an F. Plus. Yikes. Good evening, all. That wasn't worth a thousand day run. Cody should have won. Blake Williams, Matt Lopez, I agree. They are in. They are in it. They ruined a great story for what? I doubt this is getting a rematch at Backlash. So what? SummerSlam with Cody wins Money in the Bank. Should have been tonight was the night. Ant in the chat. Appreciate you, fam. He said you're Jocelyn in the house. What is going on, Jocelyn? She said, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know what is that in reference to. 
Wonder how much say Vince had. You never know. Quite a bit. Uh, a thousand days incoming, says Rob. What is up, Rob? Uh, Mr. C says, ha, ha, ha. Man, it's going to be a split crowd tonight. Sup, Conrad and Derek. Roman ain't dropping. It's our man, Jesus De Leon. What's good, Jesus? <laughs> Casey's just yelling lame. I, I wore my Cody shirt for this, Casey. <laughs> be happy. I got this from uh, Ring of Honor days when he was in there. I had to throw this on for the main event. Just to taunt, just to taunt uh, the, the first lady of EPW. Uh, my wife, she was rooting for Roman hard. She's laughing now, isn't she? Uh, Cody, would love to see Cody taking L's. Jeez, the story ain't over yet. Damn. <laughs> uh, this night felt very Vince Mania booking. Yeah, yeah, I can tell by that opener, right? Uh, Mr. C knows, Mr. C knows. Yeah, uh, not going to pay $50 for a WWE pay-per-view. Nope. Hey, that's your prerogative. Jesus said, look at the message I sent you. Let me see, Jesus. I got, you know how many people, Derek, is my phone not like charged up with messages right now? Yeah. Everybody knows I watch We're wrestling. Alleged. Uh, someone sent me the Righteous Red. Shout out to the boys at Grab City. Always got to show love, man. Uh, this is what pro wrestling is all about. Disappointment. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Rob, I will change that after. Ooh. Remind me as soon as I'm done recording this and I'll make that the group background photo for you. Uh, I got the outcomes I wanted for every match this weekend besides damage control. Hey, Casey said, good old Shane. We'll be talking about that momentarily. Who's paying $50 for a pay-per-view? That is the rumor. Shout out to Hubbard Wrestling Weekly. Tomorrow we're going to be live, 6.05, Clash of the Podcast. A topic we're going to mention for a little bit tonight, but we're going to go in-depth tomorrow about uh, the potential sale of WWE. And what's the rumors going on with it right now? But Sean says, my brothers, I predicted it. I called it. Actually, we called it. But even so, I can't believe what I just saw. And still, I just said, listen, I predicted Cody. I'm not going to front. It's what it is. Ace. Oh, no, he's throwing up the ones. He's throwing up the ones. What up, Ace? Appreciate you. Everybody got played. Sonny Bimbo on the house leaving a like. Yo, if you are in the chat, man, make sure you guys throw the uh, thumbs up on the video. Helps more people see it. Uh, the comments are appreciated. The live interaction is appreciated as well. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, B-Boy, talk about I hope Tony now has the drive to book really good shows because that is Vince's BS. Jeez. Uh, El Sombrero, Reggio7, what's good, bro? He said, bro, tell me how you feeling, bro. Uh, that ending was so wild. Uh, acknowledge your tribal chief, he says. <laughs> Look at this. Everybody going in, man. Now nah, I'm in complete disagreement. Derek and Kyra salute, but not nah, worst mania ever. Greatest WrestleMania ever is still X7. That's my personal favorite still. So. Uh, best WrestleMania match ever was Rock Hogan. Ooh, 18? I don't, I don't know if that's my favorite. Mine's still uh, Sean Taker, 25. Mr. Sean's Mr. WrestleMania, bro. He always delivered. This is true. Uh Man, everyone throwing up the ones. <laughs> e, what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Cray, what's good, Cray? He said, glad Cody lost. What up, EBW? <laughs> BJ wrote effing Gomez ruining things. The match was booking like, <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> we're changing this match, too. <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> Do, 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 do. <laughs> go, when, go, when Gomez is booking, you smell what the rock is cooking. <laughs> I could I could probably really write a song for that if I had time. Give me enough time. WWE gave the big middle finger to AEW. All those AEW people rethinking that jump to WWE now. <laughs> wow. Man, Cody fell. Uh, MJF is going to make sure he has to win. Cody looked decent on the way out. UFC booked that like WWF booked the last Nitro. Should have been on the Jersey Shore like DDP. Y'all are terrible coming in here. I definitely think Asuka uh, got screwed in her match. Uh, makes sense that Roman won. We're going to go through all of this. <laughs> Smash my throne, will you? <laughs> Cody going to spin this watch. <laughs> Kenny and the Bucks want to jump with uh, their Afro puffs and go on with your bad self. Six and well, I love it, man. I love y'all, man. We're going to get into all of this. Derek, we got to address this, man. And uh, courtesy of the fine folks here at SE Scoops, and I can't front. Uh, I had the picture up, and I did borrow this from uh, the good folks uh, at Fightful, Sean Ross Sapp and the homies. 
So uh, much love to to them for uh, helping us out with that. Here we go. Yeah, you're all wondering, what is this, bro? Rumor has it, Endeavor Group nearing deal to purchase the WWE. <laughs> According to a report from CNBC's Alex Sherman, Endeavor Group, fronted by Ari Emanuel, is uh, or excuse me, Ari Emanuel is nearing a deal to purchase World Wrestling Entertainment. The deal could be announced as early as Monday, April third. Endeavor is also the parent company of UFC. The report notes that under the prospective U deal, UFC and WWE would be combined into one publicly traded company. Endeavor would purchase 51% of WWE, with 49% being retained by the WWE shareholders. The deal would give WWE an enterprise value of $9.3 billion, with a B, billion dollars. Yeah. Uh, Emmanuel will serve as the chief executive officer of Endeavor and the new company being formed with the WWE purchase. Vince McMahon would serve as the executive chairman and Endeavor's president, Mark Shapiro, would serve as the president of the new company being formed. And WWE's Nick Khan would serve uh, as the president on the wrestling side while Dana White remains president of the UFC. Hmm. That is a mouthful, folks. That it is, that it is. I mean, what do you think, D? I'm going to get your thoughts. Me and Sean are going to, like I said, Clash of the Podcast tomorrow, 6.05. Uh, make sure you guys click that bell, and we'll talk about it. But what do you think of that move right now? Oh. I don't know, bro. At, at the moment, I, I would have to say I'm speechless. What up, Steve? <laughs> Got to show Steve some love. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm speechless on this one, bro. Like, I, I, when you sent it to me, I'm like, why? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so confused. Right, I, it, it sounds like it could be going down. We'll have to wait till it's pen to pen to paper. We yeah. don't know, but yeah. UFC and WWE as one, I, I don't see how that fits. Man, I I don't know what they do here, man. Uh, I mean, well, it's it's combat sports, so wrestling, it's physical grappling, things right. like so, that, boxing. So, so I'm thinking unless unless if you, the only thing I can think of is if you're doing a deal with UFC to cross over, kind of. To a certain extent, like, hey, you're we're we're working together now. Send your UFC fighters to WWE, so I can add more people to it. Conor McGregor about to show up. <laughs> Got to chill with that, bro. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> uh, Sheamus. <laughs> Roman on the presser already. Oh man, let me know. Entourage is Ari Gold by WWE. Damn. <laughs> uh, watch Conor McGregor is going to challenge Roman at uh, King and Queen of the Ring pay per view in Saudi. Oh, man. Yo, Vince look evil in that big bro. <laughs> I even say what he really said. I, I think we just hit the mark to where we can start saying some bad stuff, but crazy. Nut cut in time. Tony better nut up like cashews. <laughs> It's butter like Paul K. <laughs> uh, Kevin, big Kev in the house. What's good, Kev? Uh, that's Kev from the 2K League, man. I always got to show love to my bro, Kev, man. Funny dude, we were chatting a lot tonight. I caught up with a lot of people today. Actually, I ran into uh, a good friend from high school uh, in the mall today with his kid. Uh, big shout out to Ish if he's listening or watching. Uh, Eric Douglas, Cody should have won. Vince is working with that sweaty ass meatball. <laughs> I think he's referring to Dana White. <laughs> Could be wrong. Man, yo, the chat's going wild. Tokyo, what's good, bro? I see you in here. Imagine being about to wrestle at WrestleMania and going online and your workplace is sold and you got new bosses. <laughs> I mean, fighters and wrestlers jump back and forth to promos all the time. This one just makes it easier, I guess. True that. True that. Uh, we're making filet mignon, not fast food. <laughs> uh, it'll keep Brock around for sure. McGregor already tweeted about a photo with uh, the WWE strap. Of course he did. Of course he did, man. Uh, UFC to merge with WWE. Oh, you know the good times for WWE coming to an end. WWE burying the Miz last night was bad. Shane getting legit hurt and Snoop had to legit punch the Miz. I heard WWE is being sold as an NFT. Oh. Juke said, what the hell was that? We're working on it, bro. We're working on it. Feeling hurt, someone said. I said Roman retains. Told you the Roman fans are in here. This is how I'm going to be that when that night happens for me. Y'all better hope. Them nights when you get your dub, got to let them rock. 
Dan Lambert about to show up tomorrow. Somebody said, let me be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Like I said, Clash of the Podcast, we will delve deeper into it. We might have more info by tomorrow. That's what I'm hoping for me and Sean. So uh, much love, man. We got 21 people in here. Let's get that like count up. Hit the like button. And if you're new, subscribe, man. I need some more subs, man. This channel should be really at like 3, 4K is how I feel at least. So let's get to that 3 or 4K, man. We got merch. We got everything that all the other podcasts has. And you know what? We're damn good at what we do. So make sure you guys show us some love. It is much appreciated. <laughs> I don't know why it just made me laugh when you hit the boom. He was ready to go, bro. Ready to go tonight, man. Um, let's start off with the opening matchup here. Uh, we had Miz and Snoop who started off things again in the ring. What ifs? Uh, <laughs> let's get into Brock Lesnar versus Omas, man. Chat, tell me how you're feeling about this one. Derek, I'm not going to lie, bro. I thought this was better than yesterday's match, kind of. What what match was better? He's looking crazy. Brock, what match was better? Brock and Omos or Cena in theory? Honestly. Brock and Omos. But, but that, is, that ain't saying much. I know. This was hot garbage. Thank you for censoring yourself. <laughs> I'm feeling more hurt than Shane's ankles right now. Come on, y'all. Come on. Uh Roman Connor slap fight rules. <laughs> Yo, that was a good one. Oh my goodness. Someone oh Jay White tomorrow. We might have to save that for the end to talk about that. Ooh. He ooh. needs some milk. <sighs> Listen, there's not much to talk about with this. Omas did big man moves, dominated. They let him throw Brock around for a little. Brock hit one big German suplex. I that's all I remember. Omas hit a choke slam. He got up. At five, GG, I mean, we're out. I wouldn't really say Omas hit a choke slam. He choke slammed him. Nah, Brock kind of helped him with that. One. Nah, Brock's the best. Brock, yo, Brock and X Pac have the best post for choke slams. The post is when you have to put your arm on the shoulder and help the guy rise up a little bit. Ain't nobody better than Brock and X Pac. Undertaker choke slammed Brock Lesnar out of his pants in 02 one time and x Pac when he was the american badass and he came back bro i never saw someone go that high for the choke slam best sellers hands down i'm just saying just saying brock gave him a great post i thought so <laughs> lesnar crushed in one casey saying one five is all it took what a joke i i i gotta agree with casey on that 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 should have took way more than that <sighs> Dude, yeah, maybe you could have had him kick out. Dude, I feel bad for Omas in this situation. We all know what the deal was. It was supposed to be Brock and Bray was the rumor. Brock said no, he didn't want to work with Bray. What was he supposed to do? What is he supposed to do? I I, I, th- I think if anything, they should have they should have just made Omas look like a beast up until Brock became the beast. You know what I mean? Like. Seven three four ten. Just saying. Thomas was good. Thomas in the chat, man. I see you. Uh, my sister's watching the press conference. They just mentioned UFC buying the WWE. Roman was not aware. Roman and Heyman looked at each other like, "What?" <laughs> uh, six minutes of finisher spam. Uh, man, people are tight. Deanna was good. Bow to my tribal chief. People are pissed. Um. Man, Rob says he thinks it's going down tomorrow. The acquisition could be signed, man. Pen to paper. I love all that nerd stuff, so I'm going to be on it. So if you guys see something before me, send it to me. At EPW Show. Handles down below. Right. <sighs> yeah, that was a rough one, man. Uh, let's get into the next match. Let's get into this uh, this women's, uh, what do we call this? Was it? It's called a showcase match, I believe. Showcase match for what? They, I, I think that's what they were just calling those tag matches. Like the men's yesterday was just called a uh, showcase match. Um, I guess. Probably to put people on, show them off, I guess. Um, I think it's just a fancy name to add to a match that had nothing on the line. All right. Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, uh, Natalia, Shotzi, uh, our team, Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green are our team, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler are our team. Ronda and Shayna came out like uh, Ryu and Ken. Street Fighter. Oh, I, I won't say it, but yeah, yeah, I don't have that on the uh, new soundboard yet. 
time to spare. <laughs> might 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 have to make you pay pay that money for it. We can we can have a, a limited sound bites then. Listen. So no, bro, there's no lying about this. This sucked. This match kind of sucked. It was a lot going on. Um, I felt like it never really got clicking fully. Like, yeah. like from a fan standpoint, like I just never was getting into it. Like, oh, oh, here we go. But 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 then again, though, you, you don't have you don't have true um true tag teams in here, except for Shayna and Rhea. Or I mean not Rhea, Shayna and um uh, Ronda. Ronda, yeah. The, I mean, and even then, they're still not even really a tag team. Well, they, they are. They, they they train together. So with them, there's a connection. Natalia has yeah. switched partners like four times since the belts have come back. And I don't blame Natalia. I get when someone is not when when someone's not getting to move along right, they always put them with Natalia. Like Natalia can get them on track a little bit to at least be passable. Natalia's great at what she I think she's actually one of the more uh, appreciated people. Like, if you know what she does, you know, like, she's really, really good. Um, I, I, Dude, I dig Liv Morgan. Yeah. I think Raquel could be something great if they booked her more like she was in NXT. Big Mama Cool was great. Listen, As a character, like, I love that. She she has to stop smiling. <laughs> you and Sean got to get off of this. She's got to stop smiling. Don't bro. leave that girl alone about this. Nah, bro. It, it, I can't get I'm just saying the, one night though. I can't get past the smiling, bro. Like she's constantly smiling. You should be a dominant force and all you want to do is smile. Right. That overshadows your skills. I, you, you you're smiling in the most inappropriate times. Man, Chad is not happy about this match. This tag match was stupid because Rhonda and Shayna laid on the ground and came in and won. Smart, but come on. Uh, way too many awful spots in this. Yeah, that sharpshooter was looking pretty bad. I'm glad they didn't yeah. show from who The cameraman made the right call on that one where they waited. Um, this bored me. This made, this made me bored. Blatantly, obviously, who's going to win felt long. And BJ is still tight. Now I'm hitting MCs like, how you can <laughs> uh, That's because Natalia was trained in the dungeon. Uh, see slander slander sean had nothing to do with this leave that man alone sean, sean michaels is focused and looking forward to his work in nxt let's just leave it at that all right hold on cray technically lashley was on the show we'll get to that first two matches were mid pro wrestling shoot in the house what's good boys what's good i don't know if that's jesse james was in the house uh, make sure you guys check out the pro wrestler shoot. They were posting up some good screenshots and stuff. Uh, yeah. So in the end, Shasi ended up getting put in the arm bar, tapped out. Underwhelming is what I had for this, like overall for what we thought of it. Yeah. It, it, extremely underwhelming. Uh, out of place. Th th this match was definitely out of place. I, I'm sorry. Like it, it, I, I love, I love all of them, but this match just didn't make sense to me. You know what it is? It has nothing to do with the people in this match or this match fully. Yeah. Fully, I said. Partially, yes. But fully, the biggest problem is the women's division needs to slow down and establish tag teams. Yes. If, that doesn't mean you can't go for singles gold. What I'm saying is, though, if Liv Morgan is good friends with Raquel, let her stay with Raquel. You can't have Liv Morgan one month, then she's with Natalia the next month, and then she goes over to the new person who comes in, and they're a team now. You can't keep flip-flopping partners. They come in. Everyone should have a partner. If, you were, if you're going to go for the tag belts, who's your partner? Exactly. And for the people who don't, you know, WWE loves to do those little mismatch teams or mixed match teams, whatever you want to call it. Do that then. You can do that. I don't care if you do like Charlotte and Rhea will become the champs. That's fine, but they're a pair then. But make everyone else match your gear. Right. This is no different. This is just a tag division thing. Match your gear. Do your stuff. It works. Like, you can do that. I have no issues with that. And it, it was Jesse to confirm. Um, yeah, people are tight. No LA night. Uh, Sean was focused, looking forward, but he could see my joke. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> looking forward into the corner of what's next at the same. Come on. Come on. I just don't think they know how to book the women's division outside of the cream of the crop. Could be. That that makes perfect sense. That That's where a lot of the uh, stuff is uh, having problems from, too, though, when it comes to it. 
literally no titles changed hands tonight. Hey, hey, yeah, that's that was different. It was different. I wasn't expecting that. No, no, you know what? It 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 was definitely different. But I understand because you had a couple titles change hands last night. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> they have your dog at Lashley. Lashley came out after this. He was the Andre the Giant Memorial uh, Battle Royal Trophy winner. Were you proud, Derek? Were you disappointed? It sucked, dude. He had to carry that big trophy out. It reminded me when Cesaro had to do it. This trophy means nothing. And he, and I see people saying it. We still don't know what's the deal with Bray. Where's LA Knight on this card? And Lashley. Like, you couldn't find anything for them to do. A segment, something. Yeah. Even if you brought Shane back. You could have did that tomorrow night. Yeah. That wasn't I, needed I, here. I was, uh, it was nice to see Shane. But what was the point? Yeah. What was the point in you coming back for us? I mean, I don't know, bro. Like, what, 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 what was that? Like, shout out to Shane. Always love Shane. Hopefully, uh, hopefully well, he came later too. He came later. But what I'm saying is, like, yeah. that was the best thing we had for him. Apparently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tag teams got a match, bro. Plain and simple. <laughs> uh, Ridiculous. Ridiculous to slander in the <laughs> chat right now. Demon lost yet again. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that. Trips is really ta- talking up Gunther. Oh, shoot. Shane Torres quad, it says. Ah. I don't know if that's confirmed. If someone knows, please tell me. But that sucks if that's what happened. Uh, Lashley deserved better. Yeah, Lashley listen to that trophy like virtual pro wrestler two cutscenes. <laughs> mm. Taurus quad, man, that sucks, man. I, listen, I hate to see anybody get injured in any sport. Even if I really, really dislike him, I always have like a, a I feel bad for them because that sucks. Um, we'll get we'll get more on to the to the Shane thing once we get there. Lashley came out. That was the best they had for Lashley. If you guys see, I'm not I'm not trying to down this too much, but Lashley was like in tweets that he was disappointed with what happened. Can't be mad at him, especially if you're the E. Yeah. Can't be mad at him. But you know what was up next, D? A banger! A banger! A banger! This match was phenomenal. Yes, it was. Phenomenal. Intercontinental. I believe I said that this would be one of the best intercontinental title matches, and these three did not disappoint, in my opinion. Not at all. This was beautiful. Beautiful. I love this. I I have no idea, man. Uh, geez, Louise, man. Where do we start with this, man? This was just a hard hitting battle, bro. It was Gunther with the chops, bro. The the mics around around the ring. Shout out to those guys, yo. Every chop that you could hear, you could feel through the TV screen. Like Jesus Christ, bro. Stop, Kid J. <laughs> We're we're cutting up cutting up some good meat tonight. What? Man, um, I'm sorry. I'm just reading what Sombra put in the chat here. Uh, it's so difficult to use your uh, A slash S tier talent in main event spots with Roman as champs, and I'm a Roman fan, but this slows down Lashley, Bray, Cody, Seth, Gunther, RKO, and anyone else in main event candidacy. Um, Shane Torres quad apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Gunther, Sheamus, Drew match was a banger. But if I if it would have added someone else, Cesaro would have been perfect. Claudio tearing it up in Ring of Honor. I even get to talk about that. That show was dope. That was another show I enjoyed. Deanna said this was my co-match of the night. This was possibly match of the weekend. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't be mad. Match of the night. This was awesome. Brutal. Yes, dude. I can't front, man. Listen, I became a Sheamus fan recently. Like, before, I still don't like the way Seamus dresses. Like, I don't understand why he's got to come out wearing the Irish gear, but then he's wearing his trunks. Let that man just come out and wrestle. Do not dress the foolishness up. <laughs> all right? We don't need all that. Get the shillelagh. <laughs> yeah. Um, Gomar said match of the night. I see match was one of the better matches of this whole weekend. It was a chop fest. Look at everybody loving it. Uh, was Shane even in wrestling condition for this match? I'm starting to wonder now. 
Man, listen, we're going to talk about that in a second with Shane, I swear, because I, I got a little thing to say about it. The IC match was beautiful, but Cody uh, wasn't going to win. Sheamus needed to. Ugh. Yeah, it was hard, man. Dax Howard was having night sweats, and it wasn't from the tequila. It was potatoes for days, like Soviet Russia. The English was trying to steal them potatoes. <laughs> he was. Ring of Honor was amazing. Uh, I'm glad Walter won. I refuse to call him Gunther. Yeah, I, listen, I still wish he had the Walter name, too. Love that. But you know what? That one's the unforgivable one is Butch. Yes. That shit's got to change. I don't know who does it. I don't know who says it. But let this man talk about My name is Pete. <laughs> and just move on. I'll, I'll act like I didn't know nothing. <laughs> right. Butch who? It's done. Um, Dude, beat downs in this one. Bro kicks everywhere. Uh, rumor has it Drew McIntyre is having uh, some contract budding heads right now. And he, uh, you throwing up the deuces for him? Come on now. Just saying, bro. He put the, he waved the by hand, but I, I think Drew's a main eventer though. He's proved it. Yeah. But are they going to give it to him? That, that's the bigger question. After know. after what they've done with Roman, do you really think he's a main eventer? Now? He was another one though where people said he could have won right here, he and could've. then he was in the ring singing. He could have, he could have, but after what they've done with Roman, where would he fit fit in? Got to get in where you fit in, baby. And unfortunately, I see title would be where he would fit in. That's it for right now. Yeah, but bro. Gunther won this match by power bombing Drew on top of Sheamus's head. This was some of the great. This is some King of the Mountain stuff you did at a slumber party, like in sixth grade. Like, <laughs> bro, got a power bomb me on top of your boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Boom! It was just wild, man. And and BJ just mentioned Bailey. We've been seeing a lot of cryptic tweets from Bailey, Drew McIntyre. What's going on with everybody, bro? A lot is happening because of a certain somebody nobody wants to say it nobody wants to admit it but what bkm he's he's ruining things bro he he he, he just can't leave well enough alone yeah yeah listen this was a banger i don't want to take anything away from gunther if you say this was your match of the night, you're not getting an argument from me. I love this. If you say the tag title match was your match of the night, I loved it. If you love the story with Dominic and Ray, I'm not mad at it. There is some good stuff happening right now. Um, it's really good. I'm going back to uh, the chat here. Uh, Gunther <laughs> Walter's the heavier guy. Gunther's the leaner one. <laughs> Don't say that. They're going to start giving them multiple personalities. Uh, tell Dana White to bring back the Cruiserweight title. John Jones is about to be North America. Please stop, E. Do not, <laughs> do not let them book this. Gomez is back, baby. Uh, UFC to bring back metal in Sunday night, E. Terrell said. Oh, my God. Don't let Hub see that. He'll start cracking up. Gunther got great power bombs. Shit is an art form. It is. Uh, hope Switchblade didn't sign yet. Might find out tomorrow. Uh, Triple H is choked up. Uh, the girl that was a contortionist, her mom passed away this morning. Oh, my goodness. She didn't want to let her friends down, so she performed. That hits home. Um, and we'll talk about that um, real quick here uh, in the next matchup with Bianca, because I love Bianca's entrance. Uh, Nati, we need Jack. Yeah, it feels like a lot of cryptic messages in lieu of Vince McMahon, just like what Derek just said. Uh, Sombra, appreciate you, bro, with this. Honestly, I love Bailey so much. Uh, if she left, I may stop watching for a while. She deserves her flowers and a true WrestleMania moment. She does. I agree. Uh, Drew and Sheamus hugged off camera. I saw that. Um, I got a picture from uh, James, Pro Wrestling Shoot Man. He sent a good one of that. Uh, their contracts are up, maybe. Uh, talked about the cell now, and Triple H only wants to talk about WrestleMania. True that. Now we need WWF metal. Uh, what up, boys? What up, Juggernaut? What up? What up? Uh, Pro Wrestling Shoe says, if anyone outside of the WWE, I wouldn't sign this company until Vince is gone for good. Absolutely. I agree, bro. Like, well, well, we've been. I've been saying it since it happened, right? He's the X Factor. Depending on what happens with him. It, it influences what's happening with the company. And how many times can you believe Triple H? Imagine if you're the Good Brothers. I, at this point, it's on you. 
How many times you gonna keep resigning with them and then bad stuff happens and then you're not used? They're not being used now. Again, because AJ's out, I guess. But what what are we doing here? Yeah. This draft is very important and they have to get things back on track if they're doing it. I don't know. That was the rumor. I don't know if it's happening. We're gonna find out on Raw After Mania tomorrow. And I hope it feels like a Raw After Mania because it hasn't since like WrestleMania 30. You just need to get it right. Honestly, like BKM, you were my guy back in the day. We could just call him Gomez from now on on this show. Got a meal. It's what it is, man. (laughs) Velocity was that show. (laughs) Listen, I feel you guys on this, man. Let's talk about Bianca and Asuka because I do want to talk about uh, Asuka came out, multiple uh, people with the entrance, with the mask. I love this new Asuka. I want them to explore the character more. It's There's something there. They got a bite on it, though. Yes. The the fact that Asuka is who she is with unexplored potential is a huge disservice. To, and to me, it's a huge disservice. Because you have a lot going here. There, there are there are so many things that you could you could bring into this. Like um just just the, the Japanese lore of demons that you could bring to this this character. You could explore this fully and you're not doing it. I, I would like to see more from them if they could expound upon this because I think there's more there than just Asuka's dancing and yes. Asuka's coming out to just rattle off things. Way more. That's what I want to see, more in-depth character work from WWE. Um, And Bianca. Bianca's entrance hit me, Rob, D, everyone who was watching in the fields. Uh, And I can tell you this was a good match. I'm going to tell you why. At the time, someone was leaving. Not a real wrestling fan at all. They know wrestling. They've seen it. They know Shawn Michaels and stuff. You know, like, oh, I remember him back when uh, you guys were kids and stuff like that. They were watching the match, and they were leaving. It was probably about halfway through the match. They stayed till the end because they were in awe. They started watching. They became invested in it. And that's how I knew this was a good match. But when we look at what we're doing here with all of this, it is it is great to see uh, Black wrestlers in a better position than they were in yesteryears. And I felt that with this entrance. Bianca uh, got to exude who she is what she represents, and it was all the good things that she represents. Positive image towards women, I can get with that. She she represented herself as a champion at all times, I can get with that. Uh, being booked in a great position, I can get with that. She has had to fight. Some of their storylines have been rough. Some of them have been really good. It all varies and depends. Um, I, I just love what they did with Bianca here. I love what they did with her. Yeah, no, it, it was definitely a statement by the WWE and showing them like, hey, listen, we over the years, it may not have seemed like we cared about our black wrestlers. But now now we're, we're showing you like, yes, we do care. And now we're, we're giving them the push that they deserve. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and <laughs> Casey said, the good brothers are being used. Where do you think Gomez got that shoe polish from for his hair dye? <laughs> Divas of Compton, uh, they uh, battled the dancing dolls from uh, Lifetime's bringing it. Uh, Majorette Dance is about to blow up. Or, excuse me, Majorette Dance is about to blow up. Excuse me, I read that wrong. Uh, yeah, Jocelyn. It was great, though. It was great to see that, and they got to show their stuff on WrestleMania. Like, that's a huge stage for them. Yes. Um, some people are upset that Bianca won here. I would have been happy either way. Either way with this one. Uh, the entrances were awesome in this one. Uh, the OC is off on TV. Hangman's about to blame Punk for it. 3 0 Bay Bay. A said. Uh, uh, LI Yankee King was good. They put themselves in a bad booking situation with Cody Roman. Uh, LI Yankee King, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it when we get to that match. We're, we're almost there. We're getting there. Unexplored potential is the theme of WWE. Uh, I feel like they should have let Asuka win. Yeah, let's get to this real quick. Uh, this was another one. They traded a lot of good back and forth. I'm not going to get into all this. Asuka went to blow the mist. Bianca ducked. She knew it was coming. She went for the KOD. Asuka gets out. They battle, they battle, they battle. And eventually KOD is hit. She gets a win. This was a good wrestling match. That's all this was. Like It was a really good wrestling match. They told a great story. Yes. Um, oh, man. You know, one... one... One of these days, I would love to like just 
dive into my favorite wrestlers and rebuild their characters as to how I would see see them to be on this show and how they would come out. Yeah, armchair quarterbacking, though. You know, some fans don't like when we do that. But I, I think it's fun to do. As long as you don't get so wrapped into it that you believe your way has to happen, I think it's fun. It's fine to do, you know? Some people get too deep into it, but I think it's good. I, you know what? I, I don't care what they think. You can, you can call it whatever you want to call it. I'm going off of just just the lore of the other character and how, how I would see them presented. This is how I would present this character. You could take it or you or you don't have to like it at all. I mean, at the, that that's just how I see it. I there, there's so much untapped potential with so many of these characters that are not being touched, which is money lost in my eyes. It could be. Like I said, there's only so much time on the show, but I also think they waste a lot of time, too. They do. I, I feel like the the better the card is, the more you could do, but it takes time to develop that. And I don't know why they're not willing to put in the time with some people. You should be. He said, uh, Bianca's intro, I teared up a little for the dancers. Me, too. I thought it was cool, though. Love Bianca as an Afro-Indigenous man. Love seeing uh, Sister reach uh, this peak. But Asuka really deserved that moment. At this point, I would not be surprised if uh, Asuka goes home after her contract expires. Um, hey, that's on Asuka if she wants to. I still think that there's a chance that Asuka's going to win this. I saw some people saying a heel turn. I can see it happening. I can see it happening. Uh, we haven't seen that since we had, what was it, the Kabuki Warriors, were they called? Yeah. Uh, they, they Maybe they reformed them. As well, that see that was a tag team. That's funny. I remember that, right? Having a tag team name, pretty cool too, right? Um, does this mean we're getting Bianca Rhea at Backlash to unify the women's belts? I wouldn't be mad if they unified them. I know Deanna just said no, don't, don't unify them, but I would be okay with it. Well, I, I, I'm not because well, what would be the what would be the reasoning? They don't have any kind of. So I think if all champions can go back and forth on all the shows, you could spread out who's going to uh, compete for the belts. So what I'm saying is if I know that there's only one women's champ and only one person can get the shot, now I need all of you to form tag teams. You get what I'm saying? Now it's going to help you get to do something else after that. I, yeah, I guess. So. I, I don't know. If, if, you, if you do that, there, make sure you build it up. Right. Make sure you build it up. Uh, yeah, people are saying they were shocked. Bianca won. Uh, let's see here. It was a good match. I can't even hate on that. I'd like for them to run it back. I think we could see it even as early as tomorrow. Uh, they need to unify the belts, uh, Terrell says. Yeah, this is one people are going to have mixed feelings on. Some people don't like the draft. Some people do. Some people say keep the draft but unify the belts. Some people say no, don't. There's reasons for everything. If there's if you're not going to get into the character, then they need belts to fight over. But if it's weird. It's weird. It's all how you set up your booking and what you want your fans to think. Uh, Jocelyn said, already seen the hate for Bianca's entrance. People need to spend more time embracing other cultures and styles. I am mad at you. Listen, we love Asuka. Over, we're team Asuka over here, too. I love Asuka, bro. Like, one of my favorites to watch. Like, if she left, I'd be sad, truthfully. Like, I'd be like, dang, that bums me out. Um, but, listen... Jocelyn is right though. Like, if you're not unfamiliar, embrace it, man. I don't know why some people hate Bianca. I don't get it personally. They hate themselves. And Terrell said they need. Damn, Derek. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Terrell said they need to get rid of the draft. They could if they're if we're forced to keep it. Like my rule is, you have to respect the rules of the draft you put in place. There ain't no trading, or or if you are gonna trade, that's fine. But there's no like one week. I'm just on this show randomly. Yeah. Don't don't do that, Skip. Yeah. Yep, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Next, here's where we had Miz and Snoop Dogg come back out. One, two, three, and to the fuck. First, we, Miz came out acting all foolish. He got mad. He didn't get mad in the first segment, but he got mad here about, why'd you book me in a match with Pat McAfee? Snoop was basically like, yeah, I got another match. And then we heard, here comes the money. People either got mad, sad, or pissed. You pick which one you were. The, uh... The Shane O'Mac comes out, money, money, money. Shane gets out of my yo, what up, LA? <laughs> Shane sounded like he was out of breath already. Shane was ready to go, though. And listen, me and Derek saw this, and I know some people hate Shane McMahon. I don't think, was he ever really technically removed? We don't know. I, I don't 
don't think he was. I don't know if he ever was either. Maybe he signed to that contract still from previously. Yeah. Because I don't know how Shane would randomly come back. I thought I heard he was never allowed to come back. That's what I heard before, but you know what? That, that Why would you sign him? What would you need him for? Right. That 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 could have all just been a ruse. Was this the fastest return and injury in company history? Didn't Sin Cara break his finger on his return? Nah, you might be right, BJ. This might be the quickest in history. But uh, Shane McMahon hit a smooth, very smooth leapfrog. He did nothing wrong. Listen, it's it's that instance for those who who don't play sports. It is quick and easy for you to blow a quad by one simple movement. It doesn't take much, like. Whether you're in shape or out of shape, you can you can bust your ankle, you could blow a quad, you could blow out your knee. All of that can happen in an instant. So for those who are laughing at Shane, f you. Yeah, yeah, it's it's jacked up because I feel like anything could happen to uh, to someone in sports. Like I said, I never would laugh at an injury for somebody. Um, at least not initially, because I always no. feel bad. I'm like, oh, dude, that sucks. Like, you're just like, damn, do I do something regular? And listen, I think, too, as people, listen, I ain't going to front, D. We're getting up there. I can still play sports. I can still go out there and play. But I'm also, I know certain times when I do a quick move or, like, I'm going to do a jab step to to run in on the court or whatever I'm doing. I might Sometimes if my knee's not feeling right, I'm stopping dead in my tracks. So you're like, yo, why didn't you keep running, man? I, I thought you were going to go straight. I was, bro, but my knee felt weird. Like, I stopped. Yeah. Like, you're not, I'm not out here trying to bust my ass for some. And these guys are getting paid for it. So, they, there's no choice but to keep going when they're doing it. Exactly. So, yeah. I feel for them with that. No, it's, it's, it's like people who play basketball, you roll your ankle just by taking a step. All you got to do is step wrong or step on something that's on the court. It's, it's the same instance. Like, it, it happened. Okay. But it's not funny. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jocelyn says Shane and Dante did not have a great weekend. That is true, man. Injuries galore. Got to be careful with that stuff, man. Um, let me see here. Uh, Sombra says, bro, I tore my meniscus uh, dropping to my knee for a rest in warm-ups, laughing my ass off. I was working out six days a week and playing football two days a week in my peak. Let's see? Shit happens. And he wrote that right after. Shit happens with injuries. Seth Torres, ACL doing a role he's done a thousand times. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, All you need is one little slip. That's it. God uh, forbid, but shit, it happens. Let's see here. Uh, I think I'm. T- my remark is being taken as I'm glad Shane's hurt. I'm not a fan of his style, but I'm not hating on that. Just recalling what occurred right before. Uh, Casey said, bro, he's not a real wrestler. So it's not like he's missing out on time. He'd be making mo- where he'd be making money. He's a joke who came in to pad his ego, screw Shane toodles. Yeah. yeah but, but see, I, I'm not a real basketball player and I can, I can fuck myself up in a heartbeat. I'm a baseball player, but I can yeah. get, I can get on the court too. I'm not a basketball player at all, but I could, I could, I fucked my ankle up plenty of times. Shit happens, dude. You don't have to be a, a, a actual wrestler to hurt yourself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it can happen to anybody at work and stuff, too. I've seen people get really hurt, and I feel bad when it happens, uh, especially at some of those jobs where you have, like, no choice but to do some some manual labor, and you're like, oh. Yes. You, you can, you can especially lift. the older folks. Like, I always feel for them. Well, you, how many times you see an old person blow their back out trying to lift something? Yeah, yeah. that <laughs> Something minute, and it, they just, they, they're not lifting the way that they should be. And like, Pow. Oh, shit, I threw my back out. I'm down for the count. It right. happens. Right. Uh, Shane tearing the quad sucks. Saw it live. And honestly, uh, Roman winning was ain't, ain't bad. <laughs> Man, and this is James, by the way. See, Jesse and James letting me know. Uh, they're both in here. Hey, Shane can afford to tear one off his quads of a win like that. I don't know if Shane's still doing his other businesses and stuff. He did have a couple other business ventures. If anyone knows, let me know. But I haven't heard anything about that. Let's get into this Hell in a Cell match real quick. Uh, we had Edge versus Finn Balor. Edge came out with, like, the Brood Edge entrance. Uh, the skull was pretty cool. Chat, was the skull, like, digitally put on, or was he wearing an actual mask? James might know since he was there. But somebody let me know. Like, what did you guys think of the entrances? This match felt weird. 
I don't know how to feel about it. I saw some people like saying that they thought this was great. Everything was really good in this one. And I thought it was a good match. I just was like, oh, okay. And I don't know why I felt that way with it. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I think, I think it was, it was that whole part where you had uh, the demon Finn Balor taking shots and, and kind of like blowing them off. I'm like, hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Right, right. Um, BJ said I thought the mask was real. That's what I. That's what I heard too from other people. Uh, the entrance was fire. What the f with the blood? Yeah, dude. When he threw the ladder against Finn and it caught him in the head. Yikes! Yikes! He was bleeding because I kept looking. I'm like, where's the blood? But the face paint was like blending in with it, and his hair is black too. With the and he had black face paint on. So yeah, it was definitely hard. It sucked. Uh, someone said it looked real. WTF, uh, what the F, it, is it Hell in a Cell? Let that, oh, let the effort bleed. Jeez Louise, Matt Lopez <laughs> out here for blood. They need that shelf now in uh, Hell in a Cell in 2K next year. Yeah, I think they're going to add that in. That would be dope, though, to add that in, like, levels for people to jump off so you could do some different things, yeah. if that's your style. Yeah, it was a mask, at least from my view. Okay. Uh, a mask. Edge came out to uh, Slayer, Rain in the Blood to start with. I loved it. Finn's entrance was good as well. Fans were booing uh, when they were uh, thrown the Z, or excuse me, the X. Yeah. Uh, he was wearing a mask, and I think they added CGI effects to it. Overall, I think the match was pretty mid. I think I uh, I was over Edge and Balor. This did feel like it went like one match longer than the few needed to, yeah. but it got Finn featured. Yeah, you got Edge feature. I, I think it should have ended at the last pay per view that they had, and what with uh, Edge and Beth winning that match, I think that should have just been it. Yeah, Finn got staples in his head when the dot came into the ring. Someone said, "Demon said, staple me up and let's go." I know some were happy to see the the blank print on Finn. I'm gonna leave that there for the fans of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they were throwing up the Z. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh man, uh, they need to fix the 2K servers. I knew that was coming. Anytime someone brings up 2K, I need to fix them damn servers. <laughs> Go on any NBA or WWE 2K video and look at the first comment. I need to fix them damn <laughs> servers. <laughs> Yo, yo, shout out to the homie uh, Brian Williams and all them over there at 2K, man. I got to show them some love. I think they were in attendance for the show tonight. Uh, so much love to them. Uh, I think the blood cut it short. Oh, maybe it did. Maybe they told him to wrap it up. Casey said, I love Finn's entrance. Those two uh, middle-aged dudes crouching down by him were great. Yeah, on the entrance, remember we all were like, why would you shoot that? <laughs> yeah, that, that was so weird. That, that, that was so weird. Like, that, that was the first thing I noticed when Finn came out. I'm like, why the hell are those two dudes backing up? Why are they there? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, now he's back with, with that. And I'm like, no, wait a minute. What happened to the two guys that were there? <laughs> right? Um, yo, dog. like, I don't know what happened with this. I thought it was corny, too. The red chair, the purple kendo stick. Yeah. Bro, what is this? Global guts? Like, why is everything color-coded? Do, do, do you have it? <laughs> yeah, I... I I, I definitely feel like this match should have happened a long time ago. If you were if you were gonna do Edge and Finn, this should have this should have been done a long time ago. I think this waited. I think long. well, Edge got injured or did not injured. He went out for a while. There were there were some things why it got held up. I see why they did it the way they did, but I didn't expect the finish here. Um, Edge hit a spear. Uh, Finn kicked out, and then he ended the match with a concerto. Like he just beat him with the double chair shot to the head. Why did we bring back the demon for this? That's I, I just feel for the demon character because he's been sacrificed multiple times for people who they think are higher than him. It reminds me of what they used to do with Bray and Moxley. Exact same thing, or excuse me, Dean Ambrose. When they used to do that with them, like they would sacrifice them for other people. And I'm like, dog, no one's gonna believe in these dudes eventually. See, Dolph Ziggler, where is he on this show? Dolph Ziggler's a great talent, don't get me wrong, but where is he at? Period. That's what I'm saying. I would, I would, I wish he was booked better, so I would care about him. But they, they beat it out of me. So, so many, so many characters that that were booked horribly 
and are like just starting to have either fallen to the wayside or starting to fall to the wayside because of how they're booked. Yeah, let's see what the chat's saying real quick. This match was mad. Edge is all about telling stories to this match. Unfortunately, this actual story has been going too long, and the match didn't need a story inside of it, just a fight. Uh, trying to talk while I walk back to my car, Conrad, uh, they were taking people's chairs away, at least 40 to 50-ish, LOL. Uh, Triple H, don't bring the demon back ever again. I kind of feel ace on that. Like, yeah, the demon is dead. You can have Finn. That could be a segment tomorrow. Like, he just says, I'm never doing this again. Yeah, like I feel like the demon had no place in WWE. It, that character that he's doing, where he would like dress up, work better in New Japan, I think. Now, yeah, in the long term. Again, Japanese lore. Yeah, that goes with it, though. Too good point. Um, do 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 you have it guts? <laughs> uh, but they had Russell F. A. Crow introduce the match. Yeah, I don't know. I'm fifty fifty on that movie that <laughs> they keep trying to force. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna watch it. Of course you would. <laughs> I like. By the way, you got that. You got that creed. Yeah, uh, we want. What? Let's chill on that. Let's chill on that. <laughs> this match should happen at Elimination Chamber. Street fight would have been more fun. I, Sombro, you're not wrong, bro. Not wrong at all. Uh, guts and global guts. That was my show, man. Always wanted to climb the <laughs> aggro, Craig. Who you, bro? Who are you telling? I always wanted to hold that up. Right. I understand why Edge won, but I feel so much more could have came from uh, Finn. I'm with you, Popo. I'm with you on that, Po. Oh, I love you, dude. I just wanted to randomly tell you that. I haven't seen you in a minute, dog. I miss you. Uh, Matt Lopez says, with the purple, red chairs and candlesticks, uh, all they need was uh, blue color weapons to add the acro crate. <laughs> I used to always rent that from, like, Blockbuster. If I knew nothing else to rent or if some, we were at someone's house with the Super Nintendo, I'm like, yo, get that, yo, get that global guts, bro. Right, yeah. I'm trying to beat that. Honestly, so so when I think about it, um, when I think about Finn Balor's demon, like, I, when was the last time we saw the demon? Uh, before this, Roman Reigns when the uh, ring rope snapped and he lost that match. Okay. Another debacle. Yeah. And when was the last time we saw him before that? Couldn't tell you because he put it away for a while. I remember. Last time I believe we saw the demon is when Seth Rollins popped the man's shoulder out of place. I don't. I think he did it before that though, didn't he? Wrestle Bray before the Seth thing. Yeah, I think he tried to. I think he wrestled Bray. Maybe he did AJ as well. I'd have to go back and look. Listen, we know the American LWO shirts are trash that uh, I showed earlier. I, dude, wasn't that? Wasn't that a different flag than uh, uh, America? I swear those were different colors, bro. I, I think I said that in our chat when we had brought that up. Um, he showed me the WrestleMania Superstore. If you've never been to Mania, lots of great stuff in there to get. So always go early if you go to WrestleMania. Cool stores, lots of new merch. It's super dope. And they got people ready to ring you out, all that. Uh, Y'all talking about Guts and Afro Craig is all about Mo. Michael Malley. <laughs> Michael Malley. He's in heels. <laughs> uh, Mo was a babe. Uh, much love, bro. Back to Mo. AJ Styles. Demon versus Bray. Demon Lashley. Uh, WrestleMania 35. See? Okay. See? He came back a few times since then. See? You're just remembering the other ones. See? I think I was uh, Puerto Rican LWO. <laughs> that's that's what I thought the uh, colors were. But maybe I was wrong. No, that, that was the color. Right? You saw it like it was the blue and then I can't yeah. remember the order of it but it was blue. The way the pattern was, I was like, oh, I think that's supposed to represent the Puerto Rican flag. But maybe I'm wrong. Not Someone right. tell me. Very, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. But the Puerto Rican flag was it would green, be green, white, and red? No, no. It's uh, Hold on. Now, now we're about to do some uh, geography up in here. Hold on. No disrespect, sorry. I, I I just can't remember right out, right off the top of my head. Like I'm. See, those were the okay. colors. So it's like blue, white, and then red. Oh, no, I think. no, that okay. So the LWO, the LWO were the original one was like the Mexican color. Mexican color, yeah. So when they yes. did it like that, but then I saw a new one today. But since they're calling it, uh, I, I forgot what the name of it is. They changed it though. It's not the Latino World Order. They're calling it something else. I think on the front of the shirts. 
and they're and they're going to have i think uh, a different shirt representing all of the different cultures i think that's what they're going to do though no it, it, bro Derek, you got to hear me out, bro. If we had the shirt, remember Suplex City? Yes. Bro, they had one for each city they went to, bro. That works, bro, because everybody wants a customized one. It will work. Trust me, man. Marketing 103. I know this. I don't know, bro. Have faith, bro. You, you can't, you can't take, you can't take. <laughs> he said, not Mike O'Malley. You're not a true fan. Mo was the gorgeous British referee, bro. I know who Mo was. No, Mo was. Michael Malley never gets love on the show, though. Everyone always brags about Mo. I feel for him. Blue, red, and white. Thank you, Matt Lopez. Thank you. But, 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 but are we truly representing the LWO, or are we just going off different? So, Sombra, so at the WrestleMania store, though, there's different versions of the shirt, is what we were saying. And he, so he took, he called me on a phone call, and I saw all the different versions of it. I was like, oh, they're different. Yeah. I didn't know that. So, yeah, see, he said that that the uh, Puerto Rican flag is red, white, and blue. Puerto Rico is Captain America's MCU's costume. PR is in American territory, so they also did have red, white, and blue. I'm going to let that slide. That's the technicality. I'm going to let that slide. But that's how I saw it branded, though. Like, you get different colors for each one. All right. Well, well, well like, like I said. It, he said it said uh, Latino World Order. Okay, thank you. I, I For some reason, I thought it said something different. But like I said, it, I, I meant no disrespect. I don't. I couldn't remember what. Uh, you're you're safe here, Derek. No, no. I'm I'm just saying. Like uh, I'm, you're wearing a blue Jays hoodie. You're all right. Just, you're you're in you're in good, safe international waters. No, I I, I just want to make it clear though. Like I I wasn't. I'm not shitting on it. No, no. It, we were just questioning the color, bro. We we had a little history lesson here. <laughs> Listen, I pulled it up. You got to see it. We're all we're yeah, good. No, I'm just I'm just saying. I'm not shitting on it. I I, I didn't see the new shirt. I just remember the, the Latino World Order. Uh, Yo, somebody Mike get somebody get their man E. <laughs> Oscar Mabel and Mo, <laughs> not that Mo. <laughs> Men on a mission? <laughs> no, no. Mo from uh, uh, Guts. I know you know who we're talking about. Don't tell me you're that much of a youngster. <laughs> All right, it's time, guys. It's time to talk about the main event. James, I hope you brought me a present back too. <laughs> Send you my address. Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. Aquaman versus Homelander. <laughs> Cody Rhodes came out with them big ass wings on, looking like he was a villain in Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Roman Reigns, best veneers in the game. <laughs> this is true. Sombra, I agree. LWO coming back is great. I hope they actually keep this a faction. I heard that they had it listed that way, so. Fingers crossed. We didn't mention the Hall of Fame stuff either, but hopefully, you, you, hopefully, if, if they here, do. Let, let's do it real quick. Shout out to Stacey Keebler, Andy Kaufman, Great Muda, Tim White, and Ray Mysterio. Those were the inductees this year. Oh, nice. Yeah, so nice. good for them. Now, real wait, real quick though, um, if they do officially bring back the LWO, they have like you have to have that. They did though. That's what. Uh, no, no, but but I'm I'm saying like you got to have like that 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 old school LWO feel to it. Like, well, time out. Ray was, was Ray in it. I, I think Ray fought Eddie to not be in it. Yes. I don't remember how it went, but then he got forced to be in it. Yeah, I think, I think he, he was forced into it. WCW I, fans remind me, I can't, I've always said this WCW storytelling was ass, <laughs> ass. Cause I could never keep up. I'm like, wait, what are we doing this week? Right. No, no. I, I'm just saying like, I, I want them to come back. I would love to see them, you know, the, the new age LWO, but I, I still want that same kind of feel that they had back then. Like, I don't want none of that pussy footing around. Like, I, I, I no, come back with a with a vengeance. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Popo said, acknowledge him. Let's <laughs> go. Let's go. Listen, we'll get into the LWO uh, in the upcoming weeks over it. Um, dog. This match. I couldn't believe it, bro. I have said this time and time and time again, Derek. Why is this match so important? It's important because this was the match that would have shown how you would get treated as an AEW guy. Now, was Cody treated badly for the past year? I say no. He, he was undefeated for a year. I know he was out for part of it, but he was undefeated for an entire year. They kept him strong. They built him up. 
Some question when he won the Rumble from the number 30 spot, it wasn't enough. They didn't feel he needed to win it enough. He didn't earn it in their eyes yet. And I don't know what happened here tonight. I'm not going to go through the blow by blow, move by move. I'm going to tell you kind of the, the high points and we can get into it. Solo kept interfering in the match, tripping people, hitting people in the side with the chair. <laughs> Got caught after giving someone a good weight belt strapping across the back. Uh, did he take the weight belt? By the way, he gave the weight belt to uh, Brody Lee son, negative one. If you guys didn't know, that's who that was in the crowd who he gave the belt to. Uh, I thought that was a very special moment, and he had him there. He had him right there with Brandy and his family. I thought that was really dope. Uh, he had uh, his daughter Liberty there. Really good. One person missing was Pharaoh. Pharaoh, Pharaoh better be getting some extra treats, Cody. I need right. to see a picture, too. Right. All right. So they set up everything. He hits him with the belt. The ref hears it, but he didn't see him. Solo's looking silly, looking stupid. <laughs> ref don't believe it. He does the dramatic, you're out of here. Everybody cheers and claps. Solo's out of the, the match. They're beefing. They're fighting. They're going back and forth. Derek's changing his pick every two pinfalls. Oh, he's out. Oh, he's in. Oh, he's out. Oh, he's in. <laughs> Dog. I got to be consistent. Derek is the most flip flopping <laughs> wrestling fan to watch wrestling with. Figure fours were locked in everything. Cody gets in the big move. Ref bump, saddest ref bump of the night. <laughs> Ref oh. barely got touched. He just went down like a ton of bricks. We need them old Earl Hebner bumps just busting your ass. Take me out. <laughs> down I go. <laughs> down they are. Shenanigans are about to ensue. Here come the Usos. They're interfering. They hit the 1D on Cody. They're dragging Roman over. Here comes El Generico and Kevin Steen. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens come out to bust thy ass. Right. They're out there. They're throwing fists. Roman gets up while they're down, and they're like, screw him. Stunner, Sammy walks. Yo, Derek loves Sammy's walk over to the corner. Yeah. He's like, I owe you this one. Haluva kick right to his face. Uh, the, the Usos and them brawl, they're all gone. Cody catches Roman. Crossroads. He holds on to it. Now, you know when you hear the three, GG, it's over. He hits another one, too. And then he backs up towards the corner, and I was like, why are you over there? Here comes Solo with the hoodie up. Ah, right to the throat with the thumb like you manga. <laughs> Shout out to Regal for that. And Roman gets up. He sees the opportunity. He hits the ropes like he's the ultimate warrior. Spear. One, two, three. Roman Reigns retain. And I know a lot of you have a lot to say about this. So we're just going to go to the chat. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought Cody was going to win. I picked Cody. But... It didn't turn out to be that way. I'm happy he did win. What a hater, bro. <laughs> what a hater thing to say. Okay. Let's let's get to but, it. But, but it's 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 for viable reasons. Yeah, people are educating us too about this LWO in the comments here. I'm gonna try to uh I'm gonna put those up, but I'm gonna uh skip them and just get into some of these points here. The match is great, but WTF on the end, so pissed. Um, yeah, man. I listen, I feel you on that. Derek, do you think this was uh, a call, or do you think this was always the original plan, looking at it? Or do you think it was one of those they flip-flopped and they didn't know what they wanted to do, and then they just went with this? So putting my feelings aside, I would like to think that this was a flip-flop. I think they wanted to do this one move, but then they were like, no, we can't do this move. We got to do this move. No, no, we should do this move. This move is going to work. No, but if we do this move, this this is what's going to happen, and it's not going to make sense. I definitely feel it was a flip flop. I don't I don't really think it was a clear cut reason as to as to say, all right, this is what's going to happen. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Right. Uh, Deanna said, "Love seeing Cody and Negative One, little Brody. Uh, glad they got to be there. Me too. Uh, Cody looked like straight booty juice." He said, <laughs> "Those AEW guys, f them. Ooh, ooh." Rough, rough. Um, Cody had the boo-boo face uh, on the way out to the ring. Cody got sunned. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. Cody got punk uh, money and Vince and, and the Vince treatment. Yowzas. 
Um, if not Cody, then who, bro? That, at this that, point, that's at this next point, question. yeah, that's, that's the, the real point. next question. Hold on, like, no, no one's deserving of it right now. Uh, Cody's coming back with the black hair, then he'll win. <laughs> oh, he's coming back like he did for that TNT title, right? That was classic. I like that when he did that. Uh, I feel like it pays off. The payoff is now 100% Jay versus Roman at SummerSlam. Also, imagine uh, the payoff of Cody feeling how his father felt, but then overcoming it next mania. Maybe they're planning that. I could see that too. Uh, they truly made you believe Cody was going to win. This was WWF Attitude Era 98-99 world title match booking. Yeah, yeah, with all the shenanigans, I had a feel When Cody was in it, I'm like, if he has any say, there's going to be some wildness to this. I wanted the Charles Robinson rundown. <laughs> Yo, he booked it. WrestleMania 24, bro. I'll never forget that. Fastest ref ever, bro. I was like, this man, pants are in the wind. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Slid in for a two count. Hard. Uh, Roman couldn't win uh, clean against Cody. Yo, I wonder if that ref that you used to like is still in uh, Impact. Uh, oh, homeboy who used to slide hard for the women's matches. Yo, my man. Listen, if, if they if, if they had him for this match, yo, th- this would have been cold. Ooh, Derek, Sombra's got a question for us in the chat, I think. Which one's more absurd, Drew losing at Clash or Cody losing at Mania? Drew losing at Clash. I don't know, man. I think people really thought Cody had this tonight, too. But Drew losing at Clash was kind of an astonishment, too. No, Can we I'm, say equal? No, I'm going to say Drew. Because, I, I listen, uh, again, feelings aside, Cody does not deserve it right now. For what? You came in for a year, and all of a sudden you win the Royal Rumble, and you think you <laughs> your shit don't stink? You think you could just walk down the red carpet and say, hey, I, 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 I deserve a title match. Why? You barely fucking wrestled. <laughs> part of Deanna said part of Cody's story is him not being able to finish his story. My man Steve put the, the one finger up. Vince needs Pat Patterson B. Uh, <laughs> this was the wrong call, the wrong ending. It was not worth Roman sitting on a damn throne in Saudi. I have to do it, or excuse me, Saudi. I pronounced that uh, wrong. This is why there isn't a Gomez Adams show because he freaking sucks. Uh, don't call him negative one when he's on WWE TV. Coffee, sir. <laughs> Let it just be. Let's just call it WWE at cold feet. I'm taking the title off of Roman. Vince is definitely back. Death of Superman Cody. Homelander will be back. He always comes back. Main event Jay Uso. Roman said in the press conference, anyone can step up and challenge next. Anyone. I thought Cody was going to win, but it didn't feel right ending the uh, ending to the bloodline. You never know. The the bloodline has to implode in its own. Right. Rob said Rock was the original planned opponent. Austin was the second choice. Neither of them were winning this match. So I feel like that was always the plan. Hmm. I get it. Cody loved that Memphis goof stuff. Surprised he ain't fighting the crowd. He said uh, these are the only viable challengers left. Rollins, Lashley, Gunther, Randy, if cleared, and AJ. You give it to Gunther? I, I'm, I'm, I'm going Gunther all day. Gunther chopping Roman <laughs> right down. <laughs> Sit down. I don't have enough of your shit. Uh, at this point, I feel like it has to be Rock or Jay. Uh, if you only watch WWE for WrestleMania, you won't be invested or disappointed. That's what I. Can, that's why I can laugh. Jocelyn said, such a wasted opportunity. Bianca and Ray with the best entrances of WrestleMania. Yeah. Hey, Zeus, I'm going to agree with you on that, bro. Yeah. Vince would rather swerve the fans in the dirt sheets than serve the fans. Tony at least tries every time the bar for Booker of the Year is lower than uh, Hornswoggle's hairline. I don't know if that's hairline and hemline. The hem on his pants, maybe. Uh, Jesus said night one overnight, too. I will fully agree with that, I think. Yes. Let's let's run it up, D. Uh, great for tonight. Didn't discuss it again because we're bums. Um, what would you think, man? D Over us. A D for this? The first two matches. Hold on. Let me see here. First two matches were fucking horrible, bro. (laughs) Derek hates that first match. I'm a little kinder to it. (laughs) I say C- minus for him. I did give that match a grade. The the women's, yeah, I I understand. The IC match was a banger, though. It was. The women's, the raw women's match I thought was pretty good. It was decent. Um... I would, you know what? I think to, if I gave last night a B, what did we say? B minus? Uh, well, you I said C plus. Oh, yeah, B minus. Yeah, yeah it's hating. 
Uh, I would give tonight a C plus. I think I would agree with you for tonight. Half the matches were good, bro. Minus that bull jive Snoop Dogg having to uh, make the call with Miz and all that stuff. That wasn't needed, though. They were just extending yeah. the show to extend it. It, it. it wasn't needed. I think you could have played the card out a little bit better. Um, again, like I said, the first two matches were fucking horrible. Those, 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 those were those were just crash. He said the hem on his pants <laughs> for, for my man Horny. Uh, BJM said just awful. Uh, Gunther Walter would have destroyed Roman. He would have. No, uh, Gunther. So that's a that's an even kill. Walter? Yeah. <laughs> Walter is winning that. <laughs> Chess will bleed. <laughs> I don't understand why folks think this is a Vince call. Vince loves money, and at this point, Cody is far more over than Roman and his uh, merch is uh, sellable. It makes no sense to book Roman over financially. I mean, if you look at the numbers, though, Roman can say the numbers don't lie. When I was the champ, we hit our highest ratings again, even though it might have been Triple H's booking that was part of it or intrigue from Vince being gone. Roman's got stuff in his back pocket, too. He's also got the guy who was writing the shows, Paul Heyman, in his back pocket. Paul could probably take all the credit for this. I agree with Derek. First two matches were horrible. B, uh, felt like there wasn't enough action. Steve said a C. People wanted long-term storytelling. This is what it looks like, y'all. No Bianca versus Charlotte to unify the belts. Cody loses. They buried Miz uh, twice back-to-back. No Bobby, no LA Knight. Dominic loses. WrestleMania 39 gets an F+. Plus. <laughs> I will give WrestleMania an overall B+, plus for the show. I don't know if I'm ready to do that. Like, if they're so close like that, are we leaning more towards B for the overall WrestleMania show for the two nights? C minus. <laughs> I need someone to help me. <laughs> I, I I would say I'm going to say B minus. This is going to be a run of the mill WrestleMania, middle of the pack for me. I know some people were going to say it was great, but that's it's on the lower end for me. EPW gets an A plus plus though. Appreciate you, Matt. Appreciate you, fam. Hey Zeus, six six out of ten. D plus, but got extra credit for the blood, so a C. <laughs> First person to give out extra credit. Hey, there you go. My man Steve. All the points count. Uh, for the grade for the show, I got a C. My heart says it gets an F. The wrestling world as a whole will suffer rather than thrive thanks to Vince Gomez Adams looking ass, old bag of bones ass, <laughs> DJ Mad. Night one C, night two D minus. I see title curve. Main event was an F on its own. What happened to sending the fans home happy at Mania? Uh, the days are over. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Asuka pissed losing. She went out of WWE. Did she say that? Did y'all like Seth Rollins' gear was inspired by Double J? You gonna come out and start talking about the uh, the red pants and the banana nose gang? <laughs> Jeff Jarrett was tight that night. Uh, Cody's gonna spin it, but uh, I saw that uh, that boo boo face <laughs> like the vid. Uh, a minus. Someone said night one over night two. Agreed. Uh, Lesnar Roman WrestleMania backlash. Just kidding. Don't play, bro. Don't play. If that happens, you know he's back. Rob Zombie over Gomez Adams. That is some real hate. Rob Zombie movies over Gomez McMahon. Supercard of Honor over WrestleMania 39. This chat is harsh tonight. This is new look is Clark Gable look to me. Uh, her Twitter. She is. She's mad. Uh oh. D for both nights. Night one carried it. The banana nose gang. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Jarrett definitely said that about what he said the red pants and the banana nose gang circus or something like that. You remember that on oh, AEW yeah. when he first came in? Yeah, he was going in. And I know red pants was about Braun because he stopped wearing them after that. I don't get it, folks. I don't understand why he came back wearing red pants to begin with. Uh, yeah, Lesnar versus Roman. I said earlier in the chat, incoming due to WWE UFC deal. I'm so pissed. I feel you guys on that. Listen, it's 1 a.m. over here on the East Coast. Me and Sean will be back in like 17 hours, 6.05 Eastern Standard Time before the uh, Raw after Mania. We're going to be here. We're going to be kicking it. Make sure you guys show love uh, for me and the homie D. We're going to be here. If you listened all the way through this portion, 
leave us a comment down below. Leave us your thoughts on WrestleMania night two, thoughts of the overall WrestleMania weekend. If you were there, tell me what fun you had. Tell me what you did. I want to hear about it all. Um, it's either too predictable or not predictable enough. Predictability isn't bad. You know, that's what I always tell people. If you got it right, it probably means it makes logical sense to you. If your dog poops on the carpet, that wasn't predictable either, but it still sucked. Right. So you could do something to mess it, up, mess it up. Someone said, shout out to the LSU women's basketball team winning. Yeah, I saw that. BJ said, have a good night. You guys have a good night. All right. You guys are much appreciated. Thank you for repping EPW. You guys will see this up on the main page now uh, when you guys come over and you're checking out the channel homepage. Much appreciated, everybody who took time out to watch this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new. Let's get it. Let's get it up to 2K this year, man. Let's keep making these moves. I love y'all. For myself and the man they call Derek, we are out for this episode of Everything Pro Wrestling. One. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people. The best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin. The opinions, the lesson, yes. For the fans, uh, for the fans, uh. Not many in this can understand, uh, this the podcast to show you who I am, uh, Conrad Cushman, the legend in the plans, uh, please listen every day to the showcase, the opinions and knowledge that anyone can take, showing you how it is done, proving I am number one, what a legend becomes, this is now my time to show you that I am here, uh, this podcast just to make it loud and clear, uh, by the fans, uh, for the fans, uh, not many whose hand can understand uh, everything pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast here for the people, the best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin, the opinion and the lesson, yes. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people, the best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin, the opinions, the lesson, yes.